This is Solo NX. It's an intercom with two buttons. You can also have it with one button as this one, for instance. It's an intercom where you can just press the button and then the one receiving the call can decide to unlock the door by pressing one one. Hello, this is Joe. Hi Joe, could you please enter one one on your keypad please? Thank the door you. should be opened. Yeah, it's open. Thanks. So apart from unlocking the door, you can also add this reader as I have here. Well, you can actually use any kind of reader which have a weekend 26 output. Um, so it could either be a proximity as this one, or it could be a Mayfair version, or it could also just be a standard keypad also. doesn't really matter. It can contain about a thousand users on the reader. You can also have it uh, with a, a clip reader or a, a clip user. So it will either have one time go on the reader you have here, or you could also have it as a pin code. So the pin code would only work for once or two times. That's it. You decide it yourself on the account. And um, you can also just call it via your cell phone or Landline. If I do that, then it will recognize my number. If I'm on the list, it will then also unlock the door and, of course, deny my call. So I don't have any charges on my cell phone. It has got two outputs, so I can control, in this case, my bell here um, and the, the electric lock I mounted. It has two inputs. I've had a push button here. This put in this push button activates the bolt lock and also sends an SMS. That's because this is the administrator. Mm -hmm. And I have checked that the administrator should have an SMS once the input is activated. You can decide yourself whether it should just be directly activated to the output or it should send an SMS or only SMS. That's up to the settings to decide. It also can be operated by, in this case it is my iPad, it could be an Android, or it could be um, the PC. It could also be um, the one called EasyDet, easyset.eu. So you can access it via a browser, also via a Mac. These two devices here have two um, different kinds. It's called Iceware Web and it also have got an Iceware Web for the Android phones but you can also install the one called EasySet.Web that also works on, on um, the Android phone. There's no apparent difference on those two. You can send SMSs to the device by creating users or changing parameters or uh, just like you have the option in the app for, uh, let's say I want to activate output number two, that can be done, but the app is actually operating it via SMS. You can also see it's, it's a bit slower to respond. So you can do that and you can also just configure them. In my case here, I have got all units cab cables and the one I have here, you have to connect to USB if it's the program called EasySet and if it's the other one called EasySet.eu uh, of course it's it's going to use data and it's using the cloud so that's not necessary for a USB cable. In the event log you can check all data coming in. It's with timestamp, who did it, what did it, uh, what phones you haven't got the actual name of the user it's not an advanced access control but you've got a total listing of all which is going on in the program this device can be bought as a one button two button and also a longer version with four buttons with nameplates and we also have an advanced sister which is the one with keypad so you can have up to 200 apartments by clicking 
in your PIN code, it will then direct you to your apartment and that person will then be able to unlock the door for you.